Alright, there's something we need to do. Did you rub these people in? Dana, stay away from that cat. You hurt yourself. Buck! Don't! Cattles, don't pick their nose. Oh, it's, it's you. Sorry. Kind of caught me in the middle of something. How is playing... Is this how playing cow folk usually goes? Uh, I like how it's cow folk, because cow... Gosh! Gosh! I see why this has the LGBT tag. I mean, no. We were... We were across in the peaceful prairie, but Xander sounded snake. And they all went berserk. Normally, I'd let them tie themselves out, but they were all wound up this time. It sounds like you could use a partner. Really? You want to round them up? You betcha. I'll uh, lasso up those cattle real quick. But you know, in a nice way. Normally, I wouldn't else that from a stranger. But I guess that you're a friend of Avery's. All right, Sapphire, you go at it. If you mention range up these ragamuffins, I'd be very grateful. Ragamuffins are clothes that control your body. They're from uh, a certain video game. Yeah, they're from uh, 3.5. Well, I'll be. You got them all. Ain't a good time, too. Oh, you want Sapphire? Let's get her actually because sissy I want my ice cream. Xander Shush! I'm in character right now. What did I promise my ice cream? <coughs> oh man. <coughs> uh, yeah, sure, Avery is. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All of you. Sapphire's talking right now. Let's be respectful. All price for immortality. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Oh. And though I've seen the power of space resistant magic, I am still a bit skeptical. It makes perfect sense. Even if science boy decides it works, it sure won't, won't fly on a farm. Does that? You should worry about what. <laughs> Let's fly on a farm. Oh. <laughs> you sure? Alright. Yeah, alright, everyone. Here's my biggest idea yet. What if we took all the slimes and put them hats on them? Hey, for the other idea. Huh? What's well, supposed to make everyone work together, right? Oh, oh, right, that idea. Um, the idea will make the spares the arts, cowfolk, and vampires come together as one. Oh. This ought to be good. I think we should come together and open a restaurant. A space restaurant? No drama, not a space restaurant. Avery, I'm confused. What does this have to do with vampires? Or Frontier Living. 
or the vast expanse of just past this meager sky? The answer to all those questions is very simple. And I forgot! What? Avery! Sorry, everyone. I couldn't stop thinking about slimes and hats. Can you imagine one with a fire? <laughs> stop designing monsters for a video game. Dragon Quest will sue you. Charismatic hostess. Truly villainous atmosphere. <laughs> Eventually. Thanks for bringing everyone together, Sapphire. Yeah, sure. I'm glad you asked me to. Everyone's here sounded to be a lot of fun. Didn't I tell you they were creative? So about the playground? We'll definitely be there. I have so many great ideas I can barely stand it. Hope you're ready for all the drama you can handle. I hope so. I love that the text is just already there. <laughs> You enjoy your meal, become me. <laughs> Tip well, and you'll never have to find out. <coughs> dino nuggies, dino nuggies, dino nuggies. <laughs> yes. Oh, there's actually like actual people here. <coughs> Extra no, Parmesan's good cheese. Can't beat those prices. Hold the garlic. Hold the steak. <laughs> oh, this game is so cute. But. I am feeling it. <laughs> it's a juice bar. Well, I'm out of ideas. Oh, um, do you think it'll be good enough? Ah, yeah, uh, everyone does look like they're just having fun. The playground town is finally finished. But such is the price of beauty. I love this game as like shields, it's just like this.
Sis-sis! Hey, kiddo. <coughs> Come to check on my progress. <laughs> no, even better. Wait, you're finally done? Uh, no. Sorry. <coughs> it was just a guess. Do you mean to get your hopes up? <coughs> that That's okay, because I'm having such an amazing time with everyone at the playground. We've got a blacksmith and an astronaut and a whole castle with towers and bridges and everything. <laughs> wow, that sounds pretty great. It's the greatest! It's so cool that everyone dropped everything they were doing to play! Ah, I see. Come see for yourself! Just a minute! Half a minute! Don't even worry about all those books and stuff since you just leave them right here for no reason. Kiddo, can I talk with you for a sec, grown-up style? Grown-up? <laughs> Sorry, sis, it's play. I love how we're just clinging to this idea of, It's playtime! You can't be grown-up, please! Yeah, well, yeah, it's about that, Sapphire. <sighs> I know what you're trying to do here. You do? It's not that I don't want to play. Not that all those memories aren't happy, or uh, I'm avoiding you. Dang, I'm butchering this, huh? I just think that if you see it for yourself... <laughs> I'm sure it's incredible, but I still have work to do. And playing with you is, uh, it's a good <laughs> saying is, this assignment needs to get done. I can't make today <coughs> go. I imagine it's still reached the finish line. What's that even mean? It means I'm not going so far. I'm staying here and doing my lame, grown-ass achieve assignment. But... <laughs> Believe me when I say it's not a, an easy choice, but i got to focus on what's important right now. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Guess I'll go now. Okay, I really hope you have a great time. She's, she's busy. She said no. Yep, knew it. Oh, come on, Martin. They're having a moment. <coughs> I got everyone to play. We built the whole town. I thought that would be enough. Well, scales, it'll be enough. We just have to double down, right? Maybe we can try some different colors. Maybe the timing was off. <sighs> if it isn't enough now, it's not going to be. Martin! No, seriously, look at this playground! Look at all of this. It's amazing. Spectacular! Everyone poured their whole day and every ounce of creativity they had into it. With all this gawk at stuff that's not even half this impressive. We could still make it better. Maybe, but that's not the point. Sapphire, you, if your sis isn't impressed with all of this, then it's not about the game. It goes past that. You need to talk to her. I know, I know, I don't just know the words. It's okay, Sapphire. Your friends are here to help. Why don't you try and talk uh, about you and your sis and what the game means to you? Okay, it's a bit complicated. Complicated doesn't have to be scary. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, yeah, imagine we literally help with these and navigate a dark forest of your mind. Where the heck am I? Oh, I see. I'm in, like, I'm, I'm in a bullshit area. Oh, look! I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little mad again! And the gravity's gone? Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm a little mad again! Listen, I really liked little, little Lady Bitty Baby Man. He was so cute. She was always just wearing that punk stuff. Oh, my jump height's the same, but I'm smaller, so it looks weird. Are you sure this is about having time with my sis? Or does it have a little more to do with the idea of validation? Is a question that I feel needs to get answered. <gasps> An extra life! Trigger the ice cream bonus! I'm actually surprised the game does something like this. Whoa, you smashed the big one! That's worth three hearts! We visited at the park every weekend to play our game together. And we both looked forward to it all week. You remember why you stopped? I mean, come on, let's keep moving. Wow, what elegant technique. Yeah, keep going. Bonus round! Five times multiplier. Ah, 
boss, boss, boss! <laughs> Whoa, did she make up all those systems by herself? Yeah, that's why playing with Stixis was the best. Every time we played, she had a new idea. Everything fit together just right. And the arrow is one. How far back does... How far big... No, no. How far back does this thing go? No, it's Kermit. Hello, when I'm Kermit, how far back does this thing go? Man, I guess... I guess it really was like the... The idea of something being over. I'm, I'm pretty sure my character in, like, the, con the contemporary time is still just a teen, but, like, already dealing with the adulthood of, like, you have to leave your childhood behind. It's a hell of a trip. This game is a nice light motif too. Hero has to be clad. Hero has to be clad in green. I'm green. Great. You're already halfway there. Oh, this is that thing. This is it. The first time we started playing together. Oh, is this, this is the part where uh, Sis uh, has to pick you a hero name? Uh, the name you picked sounds seems familiar. All oh, right. Uh, this is where I started going by Sapphire. What? That's not even my real name. Wow. How true. Choosing a name was part of the fun, and I liked how it sounded, so I kept it. Oh, it's sweet that it came from something you said. Oh, gosh, when your name... Oh. Names have a way of sticking, no matter where they're from. Yeah, I guess I never thought about it. Hang on. Something about all of this is biting at me. Is everyone else seeing a pattern here? Oh, wait, is everyone else seeing a pattern here? Seems like your sis is always making the game and never playing it. She's a dungeon master! As a brother of two little sisters can tell you, it's not always fun having to be the big kid. Oh, you're right. You never got to be the hero. Being the game maker person. I mean, listen, I like being a game master and I don't like playing too much. Uh, being a player comes with certain stresses and things that I don't deal with very well. Uh, I'm a sore loser and being the game master means you always win. But I think a part that's actually interesting is I never considered at any moment that Sapphire, the character, the little gator boy, thought that him playing the game or them playing the game was what she liked. <laughs> Let me put it like this. I thought that the idea was like, look, we're having so much fun. How about you join us? And I never considered, I never, ever considered that he was just like, me playing is my contribution. You know, like one of those snarky jackass players who was like, oh, I'm such a great player. Oh, the gem should worship me. Like, nah, man, I'm doing this for the fun of it. And I think, I wonder if she doesn't really want to do it. Like she did it a lot. It's possible that she just straight up likes it like me or it's something else. Was she always this tired too? Yeah, that's what I mean. That's... That makes this game so much more to my heart. What the fuck? I don't think she would have made such a complex game if she wasn't excited about it. You can entertain kids that age with a game of tag. Sapphire, what do you think this game means to her? I think Jill's right. She must have liked making it, but it is a lot of work. So I guess making her, asking her to play actually is a lot of pressure. Pressure that I've been putting on her all this day. Okay, so we just tell your sister to turn to be a hero. Oh, oh yeah, problem solved. I just have to follow and let her be the hero. She'll play for sure. Not so fast, Sapphire. I really ask why you and your sister stopped playing the game. We never talked about it. All right, I guess now's the time. Those memories over there, back the way we came. This path is less taken care of, I guess. Nothing a brave hero and their legendary sword can't handle. Y y uh, sure. This environment looks so cool, though.
Oh, what's going on? Why am I suddenly depressed? What happened? What happened, dude? That was the day Sis told me she wanted to go to computer school. She said it would help her achieve a big dream and <laughs> really excited. Looking back, though, that was the moment she started having less and less time to play with me. Schoolwork can do that. Sometimes we have to choose to do adult stuff. I think it's a little more than that. I think she's working on something that can help her realize her dreams. Like, she's not playing because she wants to make the actual game happen. And that... That's the thing you have to deal with. Like, as a game master, that's the thing you have to deal with, is... You get a little too caught up in your own little world, in your own little creation. So much so that you kind of forget about all the parts that the players want to engage with. And video games can take a long time to make. They are not TTRPGs where you can just kind of start with a half-finished product. You need something complete. Concrete ideas, mathematical expressions for how the world makes sense. Those are hard and those are difficult. Those don't come cheap. They do not come free. And so in the end, the real problem is she got what she wanted. Isn't it? And the fairy went away. Man, this section is longer than I thought. One day, she said she didn't want to talk at all. Not about the game or TV or the weather or anything. That was it. After all that, she didn't want to play the game again. Didn't want to or didn't agree to. Uh, all right, she didn't agree. Maybe she was feeling pressured. I'm sure she wanted to. She must have been really going through it to outright ghost you. Oh, she might have been just having depression then. Could it be depression? Or could it be that she felt her spark leave her? Because, like, when you make a video game, it's so much, like, surrounding things you have to do, right? You have to do so many second... Oh, gosh, this place is awesome. But you have to do so many surrounding elements. Like, the math is just boring. If you like the math, you're... You know, odds that you're into the game is less. I imagine. I don't know. You, I imagine you can be all of those if you're someone like Toby Fox. But for most people, one of those elements is something they have to grit their teeth and push through. They have to put up with the fact that that's just part of making a game. And that will ultimately get to them. It exhausts them. And they get and they kind of lose that spark in a certain way. I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing here. Going off of my, my vibes. And then she went away to college. And I stopped seeing her all together. Even when she was home, she was working on something. I know she's busy and I want her to succeed. I don't want to pressure her, but... I don't want to never play the game again either. Are we playing the game right now? Well, kind of, but... With rules and friends and monsters and towers and heroes to save the life. Yes, it's just... Sounds like a great game to me. But I was only playing the game to get Sis to play the game. Because it's not a real game without her. Which definitely sounds silly when I say it out loud. Yeah, kind of sounds like you figured this whole thing out. Yeah, I know what I have to say to my Sis now. Because it is a real game. We put a lot of work into making it real. And I want you all to appreciate that. To know I appreciate that. Aw, Scales, you big softy. Come here. Thanks, guys. It helped a lot to talk about it. Man, if only someone suggested that earlier. Heh. <laughs> Knock it off. You go, Sapphire. This time, your sis is really, really gonna... Nah, <laughs> don't worry, guys. Whatever happens this time, I'm ready for it. I love how Avery actually jumps on top instead of just sitting around. That's a, a tiny bit of charm that the end of the game needs. Because if they just hugged, it would have been so flat. But no, they actually jumped on top. They put a little extra effort into the animation. Because that's harder to do than just walking up. Hi again. Hey, kiddo. Oh, shit. I'm sitting on the... Oh, this is the adult mode. So, um... How's college? Oh, it's fine. The work's tough. But I'm happy to be there. Does it really have lockers and hall monitors and big, gigantic television classroom like on TV? Most of that stuff stays in high schools. So there are lecture halls, and they are way too big. If I don't get to see real close to this, I don't even hear what the professor's... <laughs> that stinks. I should give professors megaphones. <laughs> megaphones? Yeah! You can always be able to hear them. Even if the lesson was really boring, no one fall asleep. <laughs> you might be out of something there. I bet the professor would get up with the noise before the students did. <laughs> Maybe I should write a letter to the dean. 
Go for it, but be careful. The evil teen is going to crush any ideas that are too much fun. <gasps> evil teens are real? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Never met mine. Don't let that stop you from trying, though. I don't recall if I ever met my school's dean outside of a few select entrances. It sure was a lot of work putting that whole big game together, huh? Yeah, it is. But that's not the player's fault. Games are just hard to make. That's what I said! There's, a, there's always something you don't want to do. There's always a part that you have to get someone else to do for you, or that you have to coordinate, or have to put up with. Yeah, I know. And multiplayer is a nightmare. <laughs> I bet. I'm excited to hear all about that later. Also, I got the feeling she was kind of making shit up to such an extent that it's not really a game. It's just kind of like having fun. Make believe. <laughs> What's that grin? Look like you're ready to burst. Want to talk about it now? No, it can wait. I just want to say uh, thanks for everything. All the ideas. Explain everything to me and being nice to me even when you're stressed out. And <laughs> Don't have to say every little thing, kiddo. I'm happy to do all that for you. Yeah, okay, just one more. Even though you have work to do, I'm really glad you're here. Thanks, Sapphire. I'm glad to. Cool. Sorry I waited 100 million years to tell you that. Now we're both so old! <laughs> Don't make me laugh like that. I might crumble to dust. You're right. I gotta go enjoy my youth while I still have a chance. How old am I? Like, six... I guess 10 years makes sense. So she would have been like 16. I'm like 16-ish. Because there's a dude who's 16 here. Maybe I'm 12. 12 makes sense, too. I don't know. Like, if we're going by 10 years, which is like a decent period... Eh, could be 4 years. Could be that little, actually. Oh, right, time to focus. Focus on your future. Focus on what's important. Don't do this game. Don't do this game. Don't. Don't. The message is about... Thank you. There will be a nightly quiz assignment, a weekly quiz, and five major products before the semester, though. It's through. I do not take light work. Excuse me, sir, for which projects will we be working in engine? You stay at your week of the practice. What? You'll have to transfer schools. There's no other way? I'm afraid so. The magnet program you're looking for is only available elsewhere. Try to make the decision before the other applicants start piling up. I don't get it. This is already a real game. <sighs> but I mean a real, real game, like Legend of Hero. I want to make something that everyone can play. Something they'll love. And when I'm done, we get to play it together. Gosh, that's, that's, oh. Don't do it! No! Please. No! The point of the me- uh, I get it, right? The, sh the saccharine ending. But come on, the whole point is that you can't stop it. And like the whole idea of like, we can do one more time. Like I get it, right? Closure. But sometimes you don't get closure. Sometimes you were too late and you didn't know it. And that's a good lesson to learn. Whatever. Have your saccharine ending. I didn't get mine. And now I will destroy every saccharine ending I come across. I'll write the greatest story and game the world has ever seen. And it will end unsatisfyingly for the plebeians. Look at these adorable pictures. <laughs> Mega Wobble. What a great game. What I mostly liked is that it... It was just a fun adventure. This is an adventure. You go places, you see things, you do stuff. It is an adventure in the coldest sense possible. And I like that it actually has like an interesting message. Ish. It doesn't quite do what I wanted it to. It's a bit broad. Could be slightly more nuanced, more specific. Platonic friends. Look at all these door. <laughs> Wait, are these all the characters? Like, do you always get these, or is this only if you saw them? Like, this can be empty if you see nobody. Now I'm curious, but this is like Undertale. You shouldn't play this game again. It's a one and done. Like, like a short hike. You really shouldn't play it again. Thanks for helping with the town. The cottage was a great idea. Oh, that's the one that I built. <laughs> I'm full of them. <laughs> So you're getting back to work now? Uh, looking at me, I actually have done enough work for one day. My group members will just have to step it up. You guys could use a lesson in teamwork. After today, I'm sure you'd be a perfect teacher. I do need a little rest before I'm able to keep up with you and your friends again, but I'm still in the game. Uh, consoleth the purple witch, who if I need potions brewed or curses lifted. Oh, if you just want to talk. <laughs> I will. Thank you, oh goodly witch.
così Elijah finally talked things out with you. Sis. 